Hello, Captain VFC here with a very special unboxing. That's because it's about as unboxing as you can get, as there is no box. The other side of this bit of uh, artist paper is a purchase that I made from eBay. Uh, it was unboxed, hence the lack of box, but the person did nicely print out the box art and put it on the other side of this artist paper. It is, of course, in case you couldn't tell by the name of the video, the Hella 150th scale stamp SV4C. Now, last year on the channel, I featured a build of this, which is the Azure from... Was it from Azure? I've already forgotten. The uh, Azure... 172nd scale stamp and I referenced it at the end of the year as being not the only one that I've got but it wouldn't be the same kit. I really like this aircraft. I have a bit of an obsession with it. It's a bit silly. If you don't know about it then I would advise looking it up but essentially it's Belgium's answer to the Tiger Moth. A bit smaller and in my personal opinion a little bit more adorable but uh, there we go. So being a fan of it but wanting another version of it, the only logical option was to go for a different scale. And Heller, back in 1978, released this. As far as I can tell, it hasn't been released since the 1990s. And, well, it's 150th scale. I suspect maybe it just wasn't accurate enough to be 148th. But either way, let's have a little look. It should be complete based on the eBay listing. But because this is a second-hand aircraft... Take things with a pinch of seasoning of choice. Right, so removing the artist paper, we can see bright red sprues. Look at that. All sealed in this bag with instructions folded over. As far as I can tell as well, this, this is almost certainly the original bag. So only the box has been lost for whatever reason. But let's have a little look. Let's ooh, cut it free. Ooh. Right, nothing else in the bag? Good, nothing else in the bag. Uh, of course, now that I've just opened this, I should probably either build it straight away or find a box or bag for it, because um, otherwise it might get lost or broken. I wouldn't want any parts to get broken or this to get lost. Let's pry the instructions out. Oh, I found the decals. There they are. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Ooh. They look... Um, Awful. Not going to lie. That's presumably the stripe on the fuselage and the serial. That's it. Interesting. Uh, straight away I can see that there is no English on these instructions. But hey, that's fine. I can just about read some French. Uh, but most importantly, I can read exploded diagrams, which I'm hoping it has. Um, uh, yes. Wonderful. Nomenclature. So it tells you what all the parts are. Oh, it keeps going. There we go. Oh, wow. One massive exploded diagram. What's on the back? Hang on. Ugh. Okay, on the back, it has a history. Oh, no, it's, it's in English. Ah, oh, never mind. We're, we're, uh, we're sorted. It's fine. So we've got history in English and some information and then the instruction so it tells you it describes how to uh it describes how to assemble it but it doesn't seem to it just actually tells you where the parts are so oh no there we go no, no that is it that is the instructions cut out decals part by part soak in cold water but then the actual assembly you've got glue 33 against 43 and yeah okay not ideal it's also got that in german Hello. But the bit people are probably most familiar with is the exploded diagram. Uh, which essentially just shows you glue all the bits together. Interesting. Um, I can see why this fell out of favour, to be honest. But never mind. We've got the painting instructions down here. Yep, excellent. And we've got basic rigging instructions there as well uh only for the wings however doesn't show you anything else oh no it, it sort of does because it shows you up here on the exploded diagram okay um very much a kind of work it out yourself kind of kit Ugh. let's um 
fold that away because ultimately newspapers went out of fashion. We have a clear sprue of two windscreens. Slightly concerned that they've just been chucked in the same bag as everything else. One looks a little bit scratched, potentially. It's either scratched or blemished in some other way, but... Okay, should be all right, maybe. And then here in this vivid red plastic, we have a wing. We have an engine cowling. Interesting texture on the wings. I mean, the, the real aircraft was fabric on the wings, so you should have a texture. Just interesting that they have replicated that the way that they have. Even on the metal centerpiece of the wing, they've given it a fabric feel. Maybe that wasn't deliberate. On this sprue, we have another wing which makes sense because it is a biplane i'd be somewhat put out if it only had one we have some seats uh, one appears to be completely upside down and the other one is not interesting we've even got a tiny bit of rivet detail but there's ejection pin marks everywhere on this kit so uh yeah strange interesting some very small parts here very nice Ugh. And then we have the Fuselig right here. It has Elir written inside, which I suppose is better than writing it on the outside. And the undercarriage, and that's pretty much it. There's a lot of space, isn't there? I don't think this has been particularly well designed, but hey, what do I know? Again, the entire fuselage has the same fabric effect as everything else, even where the exhaust would go, so presumably you're going to have to sand that smooth to glue the exhaust mounting on. Interesting. Not the exhaust mounting. The um, the thingy. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Words are hard, yo. But note how there's not really any flash. However, as I said, this was originally released in the 1970s. And I imagine that this is either the... Well, it will be an early release of it because of the, the box art and the bright red plastic. I don't know what the 90s release looked like, but the artwork is completely different. So I, as long as the seller has printed the correct artwork out, which I'd like to think they have, then this should be an original one. So there's not enough time for the tooling to degrade to have lots of flash and things. But there's not much to it, is there? Considering the size of the aircraft, well, I know it's not huge, I mean, that's, that's the wingspan there, but considering it's 1 50th scale, I would kind of expect something a little bit um, more, but apparently not. So there we go, that was a very quick look inside the bag of an unusual kit. If you don't subscribe, please do. If you like the video, please hit like or tell someone about it. If you don't like it, don't forget to hit dislike and yell abuse at me in the comments because the algorithm loves it. Thank you very much. And if you really hate me, then, well, definitely become a channel member like these people on screen because they are um, they, they all just yell abuse at me all the time. It's wonderful. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will be building this on the channel in a separate video at some point, so stay tuned for that if that sort of thing interests you. Oh, and you could check out another video because YouTube's recommending you one. Maybe do that as well. Either way, grab a coffee, have a nice time. Goodbye.